G'day, I'm Ash, and as much as my excitement of the vegan's introduction, I really don't know that there could be anything better than the aircraft that I'm going to show you today. Essentially, while the vegan is fantastic, we'll cover this in another video uh, shortly. It doesn't really do anything that I specifically admire to, right? You know, it's got the fancy missiles and, you know, it's got all the, the, the modern cons and the radar and stuff like that. But let me ask you a question. Does this bastard float? Well, I think you've got the answer. And if you're turned away and don't necessarily like a low tier aircraft, that is perfectly fine. However, it is a ship. Roman Voss 138C1. Three engined, uh, just absolute little monster. 50 kilograms times six, which is enough to do basically a cargo ship after about four bombs. Two MG151s with a thousand rounds and a 13 millimeter MG131 with 300 rounds. Now, it doesn't get any armor on the machine at all, and the X-ray is quite a funny looking machine. Taking a look at the modifications, it isn't anything spectacular. It's less than spectacular. What do you expect for a vehicle that only does a max speed of about 283 kilometers an hour? It's a maritime hydroplane. Uh, and float bomber, that's really what it is. And it doesn't get any other loadouts aside from the bombs, which makes me wonder, why was this thing really introduced? Well, consider the fact that there wasn't any other World War II aircraft coming to the patch as we know it just yet, so this is really the only low-tier vehicle for those of us who don't want to spend countless hours playing top tier. I'm not going to say that's necessarily a bad thing, but... You know, it's kind of disappointing if this is what you have to resort to. But this thing is fun, let me show you why. Not only was Germany lacking a float plane tech tree vehicle, now they've got one. And while this is a bomber, I consider this more of a support roll aircraft. Let's take off here. Alright, and lift off we go. Quite a long takeoff run, I must admit. We're gonna go bomb that cargo ship. All right, steady on and drop the bombs. There we go. Wham! And again, satisfaction with the bombs. Again, maritime patrol bomber. But this machine—it reminds me of the good old days, and uh, I don't know why. It's a bit nostalgic, it's a bit of a mystery, it's fun, it doesn't have any offensive armament whatsoever, aside from its gunners, which is probably its drawing card, honestly. And uh, with the early flight model on the dev server, this thing can be particularly troublesome. And uh, as an old man would say, Back in my day, we used to fly to our objective rather than just drive. Those roads never did cease to exist. We even had to put floats on our bomber. Yes, I must say, of oh, the good old times. Yes, Grandad, when bombers were actually viable in War Thunder. I guess it reminds me of the old times within the game when you just have fun with a vehicle, and I suppose that's kind of lost its magic in a way. So it's good to see this thing. So, let's take it out in a couple of matches. So, first off, we're going to go bomb a base. Yeah, typical bomber things, as we're losing altitude on purpose. But, essentially, once you've dropped your bombs, you've become a meaningless piece of target. So, with... A decent gunner setup, I reckon. Two 20 millimeters forward firing and rear firing, with a 13 point mil. Uh, what is it? Machine gun on the back there, as I said at the start. Yeah, this thing's gunner configuration is, to put it bluntly, really good. As we destroy three targets. Now spiraling down because if this thing does above 380, it starts to panic. There it is, the red line come up, and we're just wobbling around at this altitude. Trying to get down towards the AIs. Now on the dev server, when you go to a live match, there's a bunch of AIs as well as one other player. Unfortunately, the other player had died to earlier unforeseen circumstances. And this poor P-26 switched around into gunner mode. Yeah, can you see why I quite like this machine? That's a 20 mil in the front there. Very, very effective for strafing targets. But not only that, very important for shooting down fighters. Alright, my gunners are going at it. Oh, we've got a conga line. Come on, I'm going to manually take control. There we go. One's down. And the I-15s are behind. I need to aim, learn to aim a bit. Go up a bit more. Come on, mate. 
take my time as he's flying in a straight line. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, look. Another target to shoot at. Oh, look. A P-26. See, this is what low-tier battles is all about. And honestly, I can see hundreds of these things wrecking havoc between all the vehicles. Well, sad I didn't get you on the, the head-on run, but don't worry. I will get you here soon. Pilot snipe. <laughs> you see why I think this thing is incredibly useful. Now, yes, I will admit I have a fully upgraded crew, fully upgraded gunners. Uh, so flying around is basically just doing gun shipping. I did get an opportunity to actually attack a player. Oh, that was completely AI, that one. And it just seems like the gunners are incredibly accurate fully upgraded on this machine considering you're moving at such low speeds you can see why this thing is particularly effective chasing a p26 down and yeah this is a fighter bomber i hate to admit it but it is something of an entertainment piece you know it, it doesn't serve any other purpose other than to just be an absolute meme machine now yes the cockpit is a placeholder but just watch this shot ready pulling around leveling out just slightly waiting for it a few bursts whoop and there we go it seems like the gunner gets his uh, focus on and uh, completely obliterates the uh, enemy aircraft this D3A1 doesn't stand a chance watch this we're popping through we're going to pull back around French little uh, biplane I'm going to call it a biplane it's not really a biplane high wing monoplane is actually the proper term and two taps of the gun like that and straight away we go yeah the little machine is definitely a fun one it'll be unknown to really see whether or not this machine will actually be as successful as i've shown it to be in that video and you know reducing speed is definitely crucial i think above 400 and you'll see my wing will completely and utterly obliterate itself still surprised that the wing spars and the wing roots are actually still there let alone everything else but this thing is still flying somehow and first thing a player you know if he doesn't know what he's doing which he was trying to keep out of my guns you know it's going to end in something like this when i switch back to uh, let the gunners do their thing and fly the airplane sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't ready yeah no don't ever sit behind this thing shoot it from behind uh, and definitely shoot it from below because it doesn't have any gunner protection there but this machine reminds me of old times flying Blenheims against other fighters. <laughs> and I truly miss those days. And it is a gorgeous aircraft despite all of its, you know, uselessness. Right. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.